Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today's video is a guide on Peach's Thunder. I'll be going over the different variations depending on movement and positioning, and of course, Roar of Thunder and how to perform it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get the terminology stuff out of the way first so everyone is on the same page. B reversing and reverse aerial rush. B reversing happens when you press the B button and immediately tilt the control stick in the other direction. However, with down specials it can be slightly different. To perform it you have to do down B, hold down and then towards the direction you want to face, in very quick succession. When done correctly, Peter will turn around during the start of Thunder. Seeing as Peter's Thunder always launches the direction Peter is facing, it's important to being able to be reverse so you can always face the blast zone. Let's move on to Reverse Aerial Rush next, or RAR for short. This can be very useful for when you would want to do Reverse Neutral Air or Up Air out of a dash, or, you know, Back Air out of the dash. Now, you may have heard of a little something called RAR Thunder. How do you perform it, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's slightly different than a regular RAR input, so you can't just simply use that for RAR Thunder. You can do it while running, although I highly recommend that you do it out of singular dashes to begin with. Alright, how to do Roar Thunder in three easy steps. 1. You dash. 2. You turn around and hold diagonally down in the same direction. You can keep holding the stick in that direction until you're done to be safe. 3. You jump and thunder at the same time. Voila! If you want to make it easier on yourself, you can set L or R to special. This makes it easier to jump and thunder at the same time. Sometimes in the process of moving your thumb from jump to B, you may hit the A button, so having special set to a trigger makes it more consistent. And if you're feeling cheeky, you can actually do a short hop roar thunder. This allows you to do up throw thunder a wee bit earlier than you would using a full hop. And to do up throw thunder, you up throw of course, then you you need to follow the opponent's DI, so it can be real difficult to do it online because, you know, delay and buffer. So you may sometimes just have to guess on which way they're going, but essentially up throw and then you do raw thunder in either direction depending on where your opponent went. As for other appliances, Thunder is amazing at catching jumps. If your opponent loves jumping out of hits and combos, Thunder is your best friend. However, my favorite thing by far is doing Thunder off stage. If your opponent recovers high or level to the ledge, you can catch the recovery with the lightning by dropping really low. And then double jump thunder at the same time. By double jumping you guarantee that you won't SD and the lightning will always hit you on the way down. Sometimes the opponent will just fall past the lightning blast and die and it just like that sometimes, you know? You can purposely miss yourself with lightning to only get the spike and the base knockback is actually bonkers so even at 0% it will probably just kill the opponent. It's actually crazy. One of my like, yeah, I notice a lot of favorite things in this video, but one of my favorite things that I've actually just started implementing into my gameplay is Fast Fall Up Air into Thunder. Now, this combo is actually so cool, and... Oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little bit emotional. But yeah, it's like one of the most hyped things for me ever. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a mix-up, but if you get it, you can. Fast Fall Up Air, as I said. And then Im immediately, um, yeah, double jump thunder. And your opponent will either get launched to the blast zone or they will just get spiked or... I don't know, it's actually crazy. You can get a lot of things out of this and most, most more often than not, it will just kill your opponent. And it's actually just absolutely crazy. Of course, you can also just fast fall up there and then thunder without double jumping and you will get the spike regardless so if you're stuck up you can definitely do that and that's going to be it i think 
I wanted to try making this video as short and concise as possible while still giving out as much info as I could. I hope it was helpful, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.